Joining me live in the studio this morning to talk about this is Bolan Olojede, public affairs analyst. He joins us in the studio to share his thoughts. Thank you, Bolan, for joining us this morning on News on the Hour. Good morning. Now, th does this come to you as a surprise, the reaction by the AGF and its pronouncement? Um, not exactly. Okay. Um, I, I, I was expecting something like this would come up at some point. Um, but having said that, he made his pronouncement based on, on the law. Yeah, the Constitution as amended in 1999. Yes. To set up things like that. A couple of days ago, I think it was the front page of this day, it was reported that 23 states have internal security organizations. So I'm wondering if this pronouncement will also extend to those 23 states with internal security arrangements. That is one. Um, the second part is, I'm, I'm also a bit concerned that in the course of uh, uh, several meetings and summits that led up to the launch of Amotecum, yeah. some of the security at the federal level, security agency at the federal level participated, military and the police. Top military, uh, police brass were in some of those summits. And there were even pledges of support for what was going on. So at what point did they now become illegal if all those guys were there? So the best thing would be to test this at the court, since the basis for invalidating it is the Constitution. So I would think maybe the, the, the governors of the state will muster enough political will to go to the court and ask the court to interpret the relevant sections of the Constitution to determine the legality or otherwise of the... Of now, the there's been concern that there might be a duplicity of effort of what a Mota is meant to represent and the Nigerian police. Do you think this also could have informed part of the decision um, no. and the pronouncement by the AGF. No. We, we, we need to just step back a little bit yeah. and remember how we got to that junction in the first instance. There were serious insecurity issues in the Southwest at some point in 2019. I think the, it, it came to a head when uh, the daughter of the Afeni Ferry uh, uh, leader was killed. <clears throat> Apart from that, several people, are, even the governor, one of the governors, the center was attacked in 2019. We had cases in which judges have been kidnapped. So there was an insecurity issue, and the police was there right then. It wasn't as if the police ever disappeared. But apparently, both the military and the police are a bit stretched. We have to be frank. In fact, as at that time, I think uh, the military were having operations in, in several states. They, could, they couldn't provide it. This was, these were the things that led up to the emergence of the security summit in the southwest, which eventually birthed the uh, uh, Amotekun that we're talking about. Yes. So the police had always been there. <clears throat> but it appears as, as if there was a gap and Motekun arose as, a, as, a, as, a, as an after effect of a gap, obvious security gap. So, okay, okay. I, I, I hear you when you say, when you say what you say. But, uh, we understand the operations of vigilantes set up by communities to protect the community in which um, they, they, they live in. But now we're having the entire um, Southwest states so the, the, forming an organization for the defense of its citizenry. Isn't that the responsibility of the federal government? Those, those, and already we have institutions already established to take care of social security, of lives and property of its citizens. You know, those are the things to be tested in yeah. court. When you look at the way it was put, uh, the, the Attorney General actually said, you know, you cannot set up something to defend Nigeria or the constituents. Yes. Is that what Amotekun was set up to do? Was it to defend the, the region against external enemies or to defend it against internal enemies? Do you see the functions of Amotekun different from the clamor of a state police? I think it was more, it's, it's more or less of the state, the, 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 the state police. Yes. Or what, an ex, maybe an expanded scope of what the current vigilante group are doing. Yes. There is insecurity in the environment. The, the existing security architecture is unable to address those insecurity situations. There has to be something that will arise to fill the gap. Well, there, there have been concerns majorly about the, to, to ensure the regulation of Amotekun, the scope of their operations, and at the end of the day, to, to ensure that they don't become politicized, where they will not be used those are against now the certain realities. sections of those the are, society. Those are the realities yeah. we now need to talk about. I have a concern. Some of these concerns are genuine. Can they become political tools in the hands of the politician? Yes, it's possible. How would they be regulated? Do, 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 do we have a firm way of ensuring that this group will not become just a militia that will be able to become a terror to the people? 
Those are genuine concerns that we need to address. But that is not the same as the issue of legality in itself. The legality will be determined by the law, and the competent person to interpret the law of the land is the court. Well, the, the South West governors have said that they're going to court to... to I, I will expect yes. that. So what, how do you see this panning out? I mean, as, as a social commentator, what do you see panning out in the next couple of days? There, there are two sides to this. Yes. There is the legality side of things, the law. There is the political side of things. The way I see this play out is that the politics of it might actually override the legality part of things. But it would have been nice, even if we're not, even if the politics side of it will win, that we should still be able to interpret the relevant sections of our law as far as this matter is concerned. Because the matter may hibernate today. It's going to come up later in the future. Thank you very much. Well, on, Lodge, there.